Hey there, Brawniacs. Welcome back to Bronze Over Brains. I'm your man, Bronson Layton, of course, and guys, it is a very hot day today. I am sitting on my back porch just looking around, admiring nature. That's uh, what I typically do in the middle of a summer day, but never fear. I got my fan on, got some cold water right here, and I bet you're probably wondering, what does Bronson have in store for us today? Good question. Uh, lately, uh, if you follow me on Facebook, I have been going through a couple of projects lately where I just build these random sculptures out of Legos. And if you look at the images here on this video, you'll see that I have quite the, um, the kind of mix, Mr. Fix-It kind of approach. And I don't know, I just get these ideas in my head that I like to make my own structure, so I figured, why don't I show you guys kind of like an arts and crafts sort of video. I never thought I'd do a video like this, but hey, there's a first time for anything, so hop along with me and let's get to it. To begin with this video, I would like to take a moment to dedicate this video to my grandfather, Earl Benfield. When I was little, he gave me this very box right here, and I don't know why. It came with all these little Legos, and I haven't actually seen these in years. I had them stowed away in my room, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, I pulled this box out and I thought, man, has it really been that long? So I figured I could make like two or three crafts out of these things for you guys. And well, Papa, this is for you. So as you can see, Bronyax, I dumped out all the contents in the box on the table here. And there's so many, well, so many is kind of an understatement so I'm gonna say there's an infinite amount of ideas on where to start so I like to show you my approach uh, let's see here this sort of piece right here I like to call this the foundation uh, of course my dad was once a construction worker and so I guess I get that kind of quality off of him to call something like this that anyway I'm yammering so I'm gonna lay this right here. I'm gonna take another one because the more of these pieces you got, the bigger the project it can be. Let's see here. I'm gonna start off with a standard square. Okay, and there we go. We're just starting right there. And so, what am I gonna do next? I usually like to take these little tiny uh, rectangle blocks right here and piece the center together like this. There we go. We'll get another one. Oh. I'll take another one. On this creative approach, I'm gonna take this black one piece together all four of these foundation squares. Take the final four block right here, and there. And put it right there, and there. See, all of a sudden, we got something connected. We got something built up that's connected. So now, the fun stuff happens. So what I did, Bronyax, is I decided to take two more uh, four blocks and put them on each side because I don't know it part of me likes to be creative with patterns and all that kind of like clockwise fashion I don't know what but here uh, as you can see I took some of these flat pieces right here these extensive ones uh, I don't have a nickname for these I just I get attracted to pieces like these for some reason and what I have here 
I have like, I call these castle pieces. And what I'm gonna do, I think, to evenly dis distribute the space, I'm gonna put this piece right here about three spaces from the four block so it could connect to the main foundation piece and this little flat piece right here. I think what we're gonna do is kind of extend this little part and kind of go from here. But right now, we're literally connecting the pieces. So on the outside, I got another three spacer, and another castle piece right there, and another And the last one. So as you can see the difference now is I'm taking one of these small square pieces I'm putting them on each end right here in conjunction with the ends of these castle pieces right here. And what I'm gonna do here is what do we got here? another flat piece. I am going to connect this little baby right there in the middle. Same as over here. Now I think to connect these two pieces, I'm gonna need four small pieces. I think I'm gonna use the small, uh, the small flat piece right here. Uh, let's see. Connect it right there. Yep, that worked. So I'm gonna get another. Let the record show that blue is one of my old favorite colors. See, now it's all connected. Now keep in mind, this is all improvised. I'm not like reading from an instruction manual or anything. This all comes from like a vision in my head and I just lay it in right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a montage and you're gonna see how the rest of this little project is gonna be done and I hope you enjoyed the outcome. So, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this piece up for debate. Um, what do you guys think? Um, does this sort of look like one of those futuristic prisons? Does it look like some kind of spaceship? I don't know, some kind of garden? You tell me. I mean, this is just an example of what I could come up with on the spot in like 10 minutes. So I hope you guys like this little example but I'm gonna show you what is probably gonna be a great interpretive project. So bear with me and let's get started. I'm gonna to try to make something with the pieces I have left. I'm gonna leave the project right here and leave this up for a vote to see which one is better. But what I think I'm gonna do is, with the remaining pieces, try to build a little robot. Okay, so I think how I'm gonna do that is I got two uh, rectangle blocks here. I'm gonna get another pair. Okay, there's the feet. That's the best way I'm gonna do it. This is not gonna be perfect, but bear with me like I said. I'm gonna stack these feet up with legs. Uh, 
Why did I have to use so many pieces on this thing? <laughs> but hey, that's what this video is for, right? I'm not considering this a challenge or anything, but rather I am using this as more of a creative sort of video. Okay. Legs gotta be bigger than that, I know. Uh, uh, he doesn't have to be tall, but I got, oh, I guess you could call these cinder block kind of pieces. Gonna stack those up and use those as extensions of legs. If we could get this thing to be a little bit taller, I got plenty of these cinder block pieces, as I call them. Uh, but the more of these you use, I don't know. Say we do a couple more each. What do you think? Okay. One for that one. Two for that one. And now let's try the other one. Okay. I got the legs. I got the feet. Oh, speaking of feet. I may actually use these as literal feet. Let's see what I can do right here. Oh, thank God. I have the actual piece to make this fit. All right. We got a clamped on foot right there. <laughs> Might have to do the other side though. <laughs> okay, so as you Brawniac see, we now got two complete robot legs. So I think how I'm going to proceed, we need the waist, of course. So I'm going to spread this as far apart as I can. Take another one of these flat pieces, clamp it on each end. Yes, that worked. Okay. I wonder if I could build up with these four squares Pick it up. and up. Okay. so moving on from the robots uh, torso right here I decided to go along for the arms I took some of those extensive flat pieces and I thank God managed to find two more of these little castle uh, shaped blocks and I thought I could use that as the extension of the arms and possibly the hands since I can't figure out how to make actual hands out of Legos and since we're only making a robot I figured this would be a great a touch as any but to make things even more interesting I'm taking uh, these single pieces right here as you can see it has it's only fit for one hole so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take on the edge of the arms right here and I made here a little gun a little weapon for the robot right here so I figured that'd be pretty cool right You are the enemy. I am about to attack you. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so, why do you say we finish up this little bad boy right here? Or should I say, bad bot? <laughs> so, Broniacs, as you can see, I don't think I have enough parts here to make an exact robot face. But what I did was, I took some of these center block uh, Legos right here. I stacked them up on each side of the head and I put a little uh, visor thing on top. As you can see right here, I put a little man inside. So you could think of this as one of those battle robots that you control with your hands and you actually 
move it yourself. Kind of like, um, I don't know, it's like you're in a human controlled transformer. Uh, so this is how I would make a robot. Uh, purely original. So this is my original design of a robot. So let me know in the comments of what you think. Well, Ronnie Ax, I'm gonna call it a day for this vlog. Um, got some other priorities I got to tend to, but let me know uh, in the comments below about which design did you like better. Did you like this interpretive uh, structure right here? Or did you like my little robot? You look angry. I know I kind of took a child's game and made it into something kind of like artsy, but I, Legos has always been a creative hobby of mine to take my mind off things. So I figured I'd show all of you how I would make a structure on the spot. So let me know what you all think. Um, I would like to see some of your creative ideas here on Bronze Over Brains. Uh, feel free to share them with us anytime, and who knows, maybe we'll feature them in a vlog one day. Maybe I may do another uh, Lego challenge uh, in the future. But until next time, Brawny Axe, this is Bronze Over Brains. I'm Bronson Layton, always reminding you to stay brawny. See you guys later.